Welcome to the VHDL Design and Modeling of Digital Systems course, Assert and Report Statements. The Assert Statement is used to provide feedback to the user during simulation when a specific condition does not exist uh, since it's providing feedback to the user. As such, it's non-synthesizable. Here's the syntax for the assert statement. Uh, optional label followed by assert and condition. If the condition is false, then we report string expression at a severity level, uh, severity level. We're going to dissect the assert statement. The string expression is used to convey information back to the user about this specific event. If the report string expression option is omitted, then the simulation will simply print assertion violation. If the severity severity level option is, omit, uh, is omitted, then the severity level of error is assumed. The assert statement can be used as a sequential statement or a concurrent statement. When we were covering enumerated data types, we touched on the data type severity level, which can have uh, these possible values, note, warning, error, or failure. The value note should be used to pass information or informational messages only. The value of warning should be used when a condition exists that may cause undesirable effects or results. The value error should be used when a condition exists that will cause undesirable results. And the value failure should be used when a condition exists that should never occur. Here's three examples of the assert statement. Uh, the first one, assert operation equals success. So when that condition is false, in other words, operation is not a success, then report the string, the patient died, severity, failure. The next statement says assert name string length not equal to zero. So here we're checking to see if name string length is zero. If it is, uh, we execute, uh, we print out name string is empty. Also of note here is that the uh, severity level for that statement would be error. In the third example, it simply says assert when run length is less than six. In this example, the uh, string expression would be assertion violation and the default severity level would be error. We also have the report statement. Now functionally, the report statement is similar to the assert statement uh, with a false condition. Uh, the report statement is used to provide feedback to the user during simulation. Again, as with the assert statement, it's non-synthesizable. If the severity of severity level option is omitted, in this case, though, it's not error, but it's note that is assumed. Uh, one thing I want to point out here as well is that when we say that these statements are non-synthesizable, there's nothing that really stops us from putting them in synthesizable code. Um, we might do that uh, so that when we run simulations on this sim synthesizable code, we are provided with additional information about what the logic is doing. Also, the syntax is similar to that of the assert statement. Uh, optional label followed by report string expression followed by an optional uh, severity severity level. If the severity of severity level is omitted, in the case of the report statement, then the default severity is note. 
Here's a couple examples. Report all done, severity note. Now we probably could have left off severity note since that would be the default severity level. Um, report runtime error. Since there is no severity clause, it would be also of uh, default severity level uh, note in the case of report. In the case of assert, the default severity level is that of error.